Now, whether you're alone or delivering with another driver, it is critical for you to individually communicate with the operator or the pump operator's assistant. Now, make certain that you agree upon and that you understand the operator or the assistant's hand and arm signals. At this point, this is his pump, and you need to understand and use his signals. Have the operator or assistant tell you what the desired concrete discharge rate is. Ask how you signal and to whom when your concrete is getting low in the drum. During the discharge process, you have four critical tasks. The first is to wear the proper PPE and to keep a safe distance from the pump hopper during discharge. Concrete can splash on you causing skin and eye damage. Also, whether your Mitchell truck drum is full or almost empty, it is your job to make certain that concrete steadily and safely flows into the hopper at a rate determined by the pump operator or the pump operator's assistant. The second task is to monitor your truck concrete discharge rate. Your concrete shouldn't discharge too fast, causing pump hopper overflow, nor should it discharge too slowly, causing insufficient concrete into the hopper. If you can't keep the pace with the required discharge rate set by the operator or his assistant, let them know immediately. Additionally, if you see concrete leaking or bulging at the side of a pump hopper coupling or a bulge at a reducer, in the hose or at an elbow, you should signal to the pump operator or assistant that you're stopping your concrete discharge. In some cases, for added safety with these conditions, some ready-mix concrete companies and contractors either request or require protective pump wraps that cover or encase the pump piping around or near the pump hopper. Finally, you must inform the pump operator or the assistant if a concrete chunk falls into the hopper since it could block or slow the flow of concrete out of the hopper. If the concrete flow is partially or totally restricted by the chunk of concrete, instead of concrete entering the pump line, air enters in its place. When air infiltrates the pump system, pressure increases. In some cases, it can increase to the point that a hose coupling could release without warning, whip around uncontrollably, and send concrete projectiles flying everywhere or even burp out of the hopper. The spraying concrete can make a huge mess, but more dangerously, it moves so haphazardly and with such force, it could cause serious injury to the people in the vicinity. With the proper communication, you can help the pump operator or assistant avoid air or foreign material in the line.